this is the Marriott's bottle experiment. In this experiment, we test the working principle of Marriott's bottle. Um, during the non-free surface discharge phase, we test the steadiness of both the, the flow rate and the X range of the jet. The experimental setup we use is the Marriott's bottle with a, with a water reservoir tank and uh, a cover to decrease the air bubble size at the bottom of the air inlet tube. The rest of the components are shown on the figure. The procedure that we followed uh, is as follows. First, we adjust the air inlet tube at a certain height above the outlet tube. Then the bottle is, see is sealed and tested, as will be seen in the next. And then we observe jet, the jet flow until the water goes below the air and the tube uh, where it turns to a uh, free jet. Uh, the above procedure is repeated three times for uh, different values of dH uh, as will be seen next. The first experimental test uh, that we did was to ensure the sealing of the tube as, we can, as, we can, as can be seen in this video. And the next uh, test that we uh, we used that to uh, determine what is the optimal uh, bubble size as the bigger the bubble size the stronger the effect on the jet flow oscillation and here we see the experiment uh, the first trial at the edge equal 11.75 centimeters And then the, the second trial uh, is shown at the edge equal 8.77 centimeters. And the third trial is at the edge equal 6.48 centimeters. Uh, which is very low and the effect of the bubble on the oscillation of the jet can be seen strongly here as the bubble uh, are closer to the jet than the other trials. And here we compare the three trials uh, at one video. Um, as pointed out with the numbers, uh, the, each, each jet had a different range and it was constant throughout the experiment. And then we have the results. Uh, the, uh, on the left we have the X-range results. As we can see that we, we observed the X values at three different times throughout the experiment and then we compared the average of these axes and we computed their steadiness, we referred to the steadiness through the standard deviation of the X values which was ar around 1% uh, throughout the experiment and we can see that the error increases as we decrease the difference uh, between the water inlet bottom and the water outlet. Uh, and the same procedure or the same measurements have been repeated for the flow rate, uh, as we can as can be seen in the in the in the in the in the, in the table here. And there was a few sources of error. The main source of error was the oscillation of the jet, as we can see that in this slow motion video that as the water uh, is ejected from the water inlet tube, uh, it it. Uh, it creates a repulsive force on the jet which causes the jet to to go out and then uh, as the water as the bubble moves upward the jet is retracted back uh, that's why we consider the average of the position of the jet to calculate the extreme thank you